so we continue with messages but so far what we can do is if we go to another users profile and click on messages then we get to see the messages we sent to them but we need to be able to see a list of our own messages in our own profile so let's click on uh, and that's before we deal with uh, images here so let me click on my own profile here and then I'm going to click on messages but as you can see we get a few errors here so not to fear let's look at what these errors are all about so let's go to line 296 of messages.php because that's where our first complaint is so 296 so let's go to messages.php line 296 where are you right there okay great so as you can see this is where it says messages just normal messages and then it says roll user get user so we actually don't need to check a user here and we don't need to see message.php at all and we actually don't need any of this stuff right here what we need is to retrieve all the messages that are in this area here so what I will do is remove all that thank you very much I will save that but let's see how we do read from messages what exactly do we need so here um, because if I go to my um, my URL there's just messages there so there's no extra variables there so it means we're just going to assume the one that's reading the messages is the user that is logged in at that time okay so with that in mind let's look at how we do get messages how do we read for messages and that's by creating a new I just can't find it here for some reason but that's that's fine the messages class I just want to confirm that I did not create it in advance okay so there it is message class is equal to new messages so I don't need to create it again so I'll just copy from there I will go down here to this point and I'll say message class read now the thing is uh, we don't really have a, uh, a function that just reads all the messages um, but in, in a group so let me let me explain what I mean here for a second let's go to our um, uh, our table here inside messages so as you can see in here we have several messages right but these are part of a single thread of messages okay so let's keep that in mind while we do this so in order to get a different thread let's try and um, let's create a different thread shall we so I would do that by going to one of my followers uh, any of these guys let's say maybe John and let's uh, begin a message to John now we have an error here expects parameter one to be an array and this is inside classes messages PHP so 104 so let's fix that error shall we now in order not to get a an error here let's comment that out and let's go to classes messages where are we in line 104 104 okay so at this point what we need is to function read mm -hmm. so the thing is if this returns an empty string then we have a problem here so we have to put an if statement of course so sort only works with arrays so we just have to confirm if it is an array if is array data 
like so. Let's uh, move this internally and uh, capture it in there. Okay, so that uh, we don't have that problem. Let me refresh and there we go. We are, we are good to go. So I'm just going to say, hey John, what's up? What's up? Like so. Okay, so that doesn't look like John, but thank God for spell check. I will send that, and there we have. I'll say something like, how are you doing these days? I just want to have uh, two messages here, because that's going to be important later. So, save there. Okay, pretty good. So let me come back here and let me refresh. Now you will see that uh, we have a uh, different thread now. There's this thread here and there's this thread there. So from the point of view of our messages list, so if for example I go now to my own messages and I click here, I want to see the list of messages I have. I shouldn't see all the messages here, I should just see the threads. I should see one thread and two threads. So what I should see here is two messages. One thread and the other thread. That should be it. Okay, so how do we get those two threads? Well, it's not that difficult. So let's go to messages. Uh, oh, the messages class right here. So this is the one that says read. So we are reading a very specific, this, this wasn't very nice because read should, um, should at least be, be more specific what we are talking about, at least just like read one, maybe this should be read all. But we want one where read, uh, let's call it read threads maybe. So I'm just going to duplicate this like so like that yes so we're going to change this one to read threads something like this okay now since we are reading all threads from the current user we don't really need to supply anything there we have every information we need because we have me who is the main character in here and we don't care what um, what other user IDs are. So, sorting is fine because uh, I don't know if this is required, but we'll see. So, what kind of query do we need here? Well, it's quite simple. We're just going to say select all from messages where we don't really need a where clause here because we want to get everything. Mm, actually, we do because we just want to get my own messages, right? So where sender is equal to me, pretty good, okay. Where sender is equal to me, and our delete sender is equal to zero, okay. Uh, that seems reasonable. So where sender is equal to me, let's do or here, like that. Or receiver is equal to me again. Okay, so either those messages belong to me. Now the reason we do either me is equal to sender or receiver, that is if for example, like in this case of John here, John has been sent a message but he hasn't replied. So at this point, John is only a recipient and never a sender. So if we only say, uh, show me where I am the sender, then John will never see this particular message. So we have to put both sender and receiver and delete sender. Hmm, this becomes a little bit sticky at this point. So what I will do is I remove this part doesn't actually make much sense, so we'll deal with this a bit later. I'll remove this uh, bracket so that we just have a single there. And then, 
that's all we need actually like that I will say order by ID descending limit 20 okay that's fine 